All right, Twitch chat, we are back. Which has given me the ability to remember... We have resources to spend at the Citadel. We should definitely do those before the next game. Although it all takes machinery, so actually I can't. Huh. Hmm, concerning. Uh, we need to get machinery then. A little concerning. You're telling me this gives no machinery? Doesn't. That's even more reason not to do that. Hmm. I don't know. Eh, yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it. Okay, so I can't spend anything. Um, we didn't take this yet. Give me my, more seal fragments, I suppose. Let's try this. I do not know if this is a good idea, but here we are. I might regret this. Although, I think it's mostly a matter of how long it'll take us, rather than whether we'll succeed or not. Our positive modifier... Higher chance to bring back stuff from Glade events. At least it's Royal Woodlands. It's the easiest biome for me. Move slower without a house. Burning cyst takes longer. Food production is slowed. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. The Carpy Hearthkeeper is good to start. Got lots of eggs in the starting blade. We started with pickled goods, which I'm going to disable for now. We'll eat those later if necessary. So we get no orders and slower traders. That does sound like such a problem. How do we deal with that? We're going to want to be able to make our people happy enough to gain reputation. Quickly. I think that's going to be hard to do. But at least harpies make the first couple of points pretty easy. Just have to create a utopia. No, no biggie. No biggie. Might be trapper's camp or small farm. Depends on what we find in the first blade, I guess. But again, we don't get to... have the traitor... I'm wondering if we want to summon the traitor. Do something like uh, break into this dangerous blade early. Think about that. We ended up going with uh, Prestige too. Serious. Didn't seem like there was going to be that big of a difference. Ooh. 35% faster woodcutters on this map type. I like that like that quite a bit. That's a pretty good first cornerstone. Are you th right in thinking the aim of a cycle is to reforge a seal? Yes, that is the goal. You need to build up enough seal fragments and then also successfully complete the, the seal mission, the seal settlement. But that is overall the goal.
shelter. Two more. Trees in this biome provide lots of wood as well as some bonus resources, so having faster woodcutters is definitely going to provide quite a bit of additional total resource. I think will be quite handy. Give global resolve, and then we can favor the harpies. True, already there. Can't just favor the harpies yet. We do have harpy houses unlocked, so that'll be good reason to get lots of fabric, so we can house them all. And yeah, sixteen minutes for the trader to arrive. I wonder if we just cut into this. What benefit do I get by waiting? Not much. Hmm. Cool. Although we should at least build the crude wa workstation and makeshift post before cutting in there. So we have options as to what to build. Currently, we've got Trapper's Camp, Small Farm, Carpenter as the blueprint choices. We definitely want to know what kind of terrain we're looking at before, before that's a thing. Do we have fertile ground or not? Could make an early carpenter, try to make planks. That's not the worst idea. Although I don't even have the fabric required to make it yet. So yeah, I think we're summoning the trader momentarily or cutting in momentarily and then summoning the trader once we see that it's not something I can deal with for free. Um, this is kind of awkward timing for glade chopping. Is that going to stop me here? I don't think so. Do it. Hey there, Tubsass. We did indeed win last run. Might not be ideal, but with the, with the faster glade times of lower prestige, I should be able to do it on the other side of the storm if I need to. I actually have a lot of people that aren't working currently. Um, we should get up another camp. This one. I knew I forgot something. Look first. Okay. Yeah, because it could just be a withered tree, which we can simply cut down. That's awesome. That's a really awesome dangerous glade event to get. Cool. Requires no resources. We're going to get tons of stuff. 60 wood, 30 oil, 35 stone. Uh, and a perk making our blight fighters move faster. That's not very helpful. Um, the event will give some cysts. That's true. Yeah, one cyst every 120 seconds for every two dangerous glades discovered. Except we've discovered zero glades. I, I think that rounds down to give zero. So I don't think it actually will. And a large abandoned cache with woodcutter bonus. That's kind of good. 40 pickled goods and plus one to stone production. Oh, they changed it. Rounds up. Okay, still won't be an issue, though. Still will not be an issue. Easy. Yeah, fabric for harpy houses in here as well. We can get 40 stone. Uh, and I like that all of the stuff in this glade, we got uh, fertile ground, by the way, so I'll probably pick the small farm.
If we'd seen large meat nodes, I would take the trapper's camp, but we got fertile ground, so let's go with a small farm, set that up for next year. And now bakery, ooh, bakery, biscuits and pie. Probably not beaver houses, they're expensive as heck. Grill makes skewers. Insects, mushrooms, or meat for that. We have none of those things. Uh, who even likes skewers? We must have foxes or lizards as the third species, question mark. I feel like this means we have lizards. Bakery definitely makes sense as we have a uh, double need for biscuits, right? Certainly no way, no way to make flour, although the small farm can make ingredients for flour. We also don't have any of these things. That's a long way from getting biscuits online. Eggs make pie, which is nice. So we would only need flour to make pie, but biscuits... Harder. Also makes pottery at two star. That's kind of good. Hard to turn down granary. Brick for the harpies and pickled goods for the beavers. And we already have a way to make the pottery. However, lumber mill, when you have beavers, is real strong, allowing you to make planks at three stars for mass plank production, which can be very strong. What does that actually do for me? I guess it'll be harder to buy planks with uh, traders arriving slower. Cool. Sure. And we're not even summoning the trader. That's right, because we have a free event. Okay. Seems good. demand this trapper's camp or else we will all starve yes I think granary would have been a pretty good pick but uh, it is very hard to turn down lumber mill so difficult Oh yeah, we want to make our small farm quickly. Let's start with that. Doesn't matter if we overlap one farm field. We're good. And this. Okay, let's get uh, two builders. We get three, so we can. Have zero hostility. Pretty hard to want to do any trade routes right now. Amber won't be useful for a little while at least. But we have to think about how we're going to get more reputation to get more stuff. I think it's going to start with harpy houses. And confirmed, our third species is indeed lizards. Take one tool or five grain. Well, actually, I want more beavers, right? Let's take two beavers and one lizard. They're good at woodcutting, after all. We want to make fabric. Out of the plant fiber. Where's that unselect everything? Hmm. I think I like enable all by default. I'm not sure about that though. At least for ingredients. Let 
economy. Use that to get a lumber mill up. Fabric, that is. Deliver the initial fabric immediately. We're five stone short by my count. I think this had 35, yeah. Tricky, tricky. All right, our one lizard is very happy. Maybe we can make the harpies happy instead. That would be better. Oh, here we go. Rebellious spirit. The first sign of things going well. Plus one global resolve for every two impatience points. Additionally, every time a villager leaves or dies, we get more impatience, which could be a good thing. That is going to help keep our people happy. That's going to help us get blueprints. That's very strong. Definitely what we want to see here. Those two are still carrying stuff away. Yeah, that's how we get re resolve. Exactly. Such a game-breaking cornerstone, really. So strong. Still waiting on this? We can deliver now, yes. Can only get the harpy to 14 happiness. For now. By the way, we did not get any blight rot cysts from the withered tree. Pro tip. It was in fact free, with only one glade opened. So that was pretty sweet. Completely free dangerous glade event. Very nice. Certainly got lucky. Open a small glade. I don't have a lot of reason to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, lumber mill is online. Please limit these to a hundred. You heard me, a hundred. You might be done. Hmm. Cornerstone we got was Rebellious Spirit, which will make a big difference here. All right, that contained a water geyser, and that's potentially worth it. Could allow us to get... Wait, <clears throat> that's uh, the kind of water geyser that connects to the lumber mill, specifically. Hmm. I like that. Does it matter where you put houses? Not really. Uh, I try to put them as far away from the warehouse as possible, while still being within the radius of the hearth. That's my usual approach. But uh, your villagers never go to their house. Breaks are not allowed. We're still happy with our... Species thing. I think we want to do the following. And then favor the harpies for the rest of the season. So much wood. Amazing. Mm. 
Yeah, impatience grows very fast without a human firekeeper or any uh, impatience reduction meta progression perks either. That's the really big thing we're missing here. But, thanks to Rebellious Spirit, <clears throat> that Impatience is going to work for us by giving us Global Resolve. 0.1 per minute, there we go. An actual amount of rep gain. And the first Harpy House, too. Didn't come up with an easy way to make more fabric, did I? Did not. And I don't have a field kitchen. It's good to remember. Hmm. Slightly tricky, though. Do I know how much arable land two guys can manage? No, I don't know a lot of the detailed math for um, for farms. You can see that these, these ones did not finish harvesting in time. So there could have been some benefit to uh, a second small farm, definitely. I really don't know the math on it, though. It seems really annoying, which is part of the reason I have a strong dislike of the farming mechanics in general. Or harpies. Believe it or not. It's not where houses go. Where do they go? I need to cut more space around the glade. Around the warehouse. That's what I see. I see a problem. Uh, move this. Then... This. All that. Okay. That'll work. Uh, what else are we doing here? Let's get two beavers on doing lumber mill stuff. And... Stonecutter's camp. So we can start collecting clay. Sounds good to me. First trader will be here after the storm. I guess we should think about our second dangerous glade. Which would be this one. Probably a good idea. I mean, we're not going to get another easy chance. So actually, you all cut into here. Instead of what you were doing before. Please and thank you. Rebellious Spirit does give us more of a reason to... I make packet building materials. Uh, it does give us more of a reason to want to summon the trader early. Which you might consider doing the year after three here. Blood flower, uh oh. But also lots of food in this glade. Not all of which I can get yet. Gives a bonus to crop planting speed. Hmm. I can ignore that for a little bit. Training gear can open caches, that's true. 
This one. That'd be really good to open. It is enough to get that open. We have enough stone to open this one, although I don't think I want the contents of this one. Probably ship that off to the old citadel. Lizard is happy during the storm. Good for Lizard Man. Good for you. You have already made enough fabric, which means we need to build another harpy house. Hereabouts ish. Go back to cutting space over here. All right, good news is we don't need the trader. So we can do other stuff, like buy bricks, which I'll do. I can also consider buying blueprints, although none of these blueprints are any good. And I have no amber. We do, however, have 55 planks. That's worth 935, which is not that much. But fear not, there'll be more. In fact, I have very little to sell. I'll trade you 33 clay for 10 bricks, because I think it would be about that much to make them anyway. Thanks. I don't think I want anything else from Zork here. Play per minute's okay. I think reduced hostility from woodcutters is pretty good too, given that we are getting bonus woodcutter production. Take flame amulets. It's gonna make it easier to run more cutters for sure, for sure. Anything else to do? It's not. We have more fertile ground for another small farm. Um, let's get that up right now. Favor the harpies so they're happy again. Hopefully we can earn our first blueprint this year. So we're gaining uh, 0.13 per minute. That ought to be enough to actually do stuff. Hopefully. Still with a lizard as the hearthkeeper? Do I want to do that? A little unclear. What we do want to do is set up our second hearth for sure. So we have 16 total people so we can get them both to level 2 and get more global resolve. So let's put it here, here, <clears throat> here is fine. Hopefully something will get planted there, at least. Blood flowers cost a lot of food, which is definitely a problem for us. But more of a problem for future us, you know?
Just a little short on paths back here. So this will take three minutes and 30 seconds to deal with, and it will take two food every, I think, six seconds. That's definitely gonna sting. It's not good. A lot of our food is in the form of grain, too. Hmm. I can't actually use yet. Double concerning. Yeah, no choice but to deal with it. If you if you let the blood flowers spread, it gets even worse. They'll stack global resolve and multiply themselves, so you have really big problems at that point. We do get our first blueprint. Here we go. Plantation, meh. Herbalist camp, maybe. Large herb, berry, and mushroom nodes. Don't actually have those yet. Or workshop, make stuff I don't need. Plantation can make raw food we can actually eat. I guess that's kind of true. It's definitely better at making raw food than the farm is. I'm really not worried about that. I'll grab the herbalist camp here. Got lots of uh, short-term food we can use. That's true, though. Berries for biscuits. That's true. I have a hard time convincing myself I would ever want two... Um, fertile ground buildings, though. But perhaps there is some truth to it. All right. Newcomers, when we're desperate for food, seems iffy. Although, if they bring food, they're allowed. 25 insects. We'll take that if we hit zero food. For the moment, I'm just going to hang tight. Because I'm not sure about all of this stuff. Oh, the lizards ate all the pickled goods. Of course they did. Forgot about that. Oh, well, <clears throat> at least the beavers can stop uh, being pissed about the rationing. It's really funny. The lizards were exempt because they didn't exist when I banned everyone from eating pickled goods. So they, they just got to have it all. Good for them. good for them, really. Yes, looks like we're going to hit critical food here in a moment. Thank you for the alert that tells me what I just told everyone. It's okay, we can get food in the uh, cache. And such. are actually out of food. Okay, take the newcomers, please. Blood flower's done, so we won't lose any of that food. Please put a lizard in this herd. And then, I don't know, move some people out of here. We have too many people, right? We have 21 people living here, which means I have too many houses. And I don't even need this house. Delete it. No, not that one. Oh, I see. Well, don't delete it, I guess. Just move it. It's fine. We have 21 people now. Almost enough for three hearths. Still need a decoration here. Lots of unemployed people still. Let's get that Fortress Camp online. To work at the Stonecutter Camp. There we go. Okay, Foragers online. And let's grab this. I'll take 30 fabric, 40 pickled goods, bonus stone production, and more woodcutter capacity. 
please and thank you. Sounds grand. Preppers camp almost out of food here. Move them shortly. You're supposed to have a friend. One less stone cutter, one more farmer. Currently no one unemployed. Seems a-okay to me. You don't actually have people? What do you mean? I moved an empty house. Ridiculous. There we go. That's another plus two global resolve. On top of the now plus three we're getting from Rebellious Spirit, about to be plus four as that impatience surges. These guys finally made 100 planks, and I still have 300 wood, good for them. Time to make packs of building materials out of planks. So 10 planks, that's 1.7 worth, becomes two worth. Pack of building materials, questionable, actually. Do I even want to bother with that? Not really. Not really, actually. We've got other uses, like we can upgrade houses, maybe, but I don't think we have most of those unlocked, so whatever. What? Yeah. We could consider big shelters <clears throat> for our housing, although mostly I'm going to be making a ton of harpy houses, I believe is the way of things. We could switch off grain production on the small farms. That is allowed. And we won't make grain anymore. Hey. Stormwalker tax is pretty good, actually. 15 amber each time we accept a newcomer group. We lose all stored amber, but I don't have any stored amber, so we don't lose anything. Or one more global resolve and 10 villager speed is pretty good. Survivor bonding. Pretty happy with survivor bonding, usually. Let's do it. Trader is nine minutes away, so still a full year. I don't feel like I have stuff to trade just yet. How are we doing here? We're going to rebuild our food supplies. We don't have any way to get complex food or anything, though. Although pickled goods will be online, and that'll help a little bit. I guess we don't want the beavers to eat the pickled goods, as they're not going to get over the threshold of 30 just yet. So beavers, no pickles for you. Kind of wishing we made that greenery, just a little bit. That's okay, though. I think we want to favor Harpies to get them over the threshold here. Yeah, we should be able to get another blueprint this year. It'd be easy, in fact. And I think with the pickled goods, the lizards will also go to happiness level. Yeah, they will. Is Field Kitchen unlocked? No. No, it's not. Feels bad. Mm. Um, actually, one less woodcutter so that I can get more stuff. 0.21 per minute. Here we go. Here we go. It's only year four. Wow, oh, you finished that? Good for you. How much plant fiber do I have? 103. Good talk. Food is solved once again. What else we got? Eggs, roots. Lots of roots. Lots of clay. We can go second trapper's camp for now. Just to give them something to do. Shh. 
should progress towards our next dangerous glade. Where's that going to be? Here? Here? This, this one's good. I like that one. I should definitely cap these. These don't make more than 30 packet building materials. Please and thank you. We could make packer provisions as well, question mark. Uh, not really. Food is still an issue. But there's our blueprint. Skewers and Jerky at the Butcher. Jerky is beloved by both Harpies and Lizards. Takes Insects. They don't really have meat. Hmm. Can also make oil. Including out of the grain that we got. I mean, it covers our desired foods really well, so we probably should take it. No large insect supply or anything. Are there bugs in the clay? No, there's roots in the clay. Hmm. Both beavers and harpies like coats. The artisan is even worse at making coats than the... Man, two minutes and 48 seconds to make 10 coats is kind of ludicrous, but it's not that bad. Got lots of fabric. Do we have a way to make trade packs? I don't think we do, right? Oh, we do. Oh, for lumber mill, I see. Yes, yeah, so we could oil into trade packs, and that's pretty efficient uh, selling of the grain. Yeah, we even have the oil, uh, the water hooked up to that, so that's better than it looks. Okay, I'm reasonably convinced by that. Let's do it. Cool. And at this rate, we'll get another uh, point before this storm begins, too. It's quite nice. Yeah, we can only make one set of jerky currently, and it's not even worth it. But we can make oil. Boy, howdy, can we make oil. I just use the plant fiber for now. Get the oil at 100. This is a job for lizards, if there are any. Yes, there are. Two lizards on that job. Enable package trade goods out of just the oil. Get those at 50. Okay, it's gathering time, once again. Still no way to do trade routes, I guess I'm okay with that for the moment.
Is oil ever good for sacrificing? Yes, we've used it for that purpose a couple of times, especially when we can make oil really effectively or cheaply. Uh, and it's been very, very powerful. Uh, let's see, what is the current sacrificing? 15 oil per minute to get 25 global production speed. That can easily be worth it. Can easily be worth it. Hmm. 21 people currently. We will gain stuff faster. More people. And we'll also eat food faster with more people. Oh well. Let's take uh, this group, I guess. Keep focusing on harpies for now. How's it going? I do not like Trump. <clears throat> this is sort of a, a roguelike settlement builder. So the idea is that you're managing uh, a settlement with three different species in it, trying to fulfill different needs of each of those species and keep them all happy. That's the number beneath each species circle. Uh, keeping them in the blue range gives us points over time, which we need to win. Meanwhile, there's an impatience meter building up. And if this impatience meter fills up all the way, we lose the game lose the run, so to speak. As a roguelite, it's intended to be short form and highly replayable. So you play for two to three hours for one settlement, and then at the end, uh, the next time you play, you'll have a different map, different random bonuses and penalties, different modifiers that will all change how it kind of plays out. So, hopefully that's a good uh, breakdown for you. Hope that helped. Currently, we're playing on a map with no orders that and usually you get quests that give you points, but we have to deal without those, which makes it a bit more challenging. A lot more challenging, admittedly. Uh, and I have two people that I don't know what to do with. Help them out here, I guess. Yeah, there's definitely a lot going on in any given game up against the storm, which certainly can make it uh, difficult to spectate, difficult to keep up with as a player, too. Personally, I really enjoy that aspect of this game. But it's certainly not for everybody. Hmm. Can't believe we still have 360 wood. Is that possible? Fireworks says I get relaxed by watching, but stressed by playing this game. That also makes sense to me. So, this glade or this glade? Let's do this one at the edge here. Why not? Sounds fun. Kind of interesting that there's still small glades this far from the main place. Think about a third hearth. We'll do that over here if we want to. For more global resolve. Rewarded for not taking granary, I guess. Oh, good. We can get these mushrooms.
cool. And an ancient shrine. Hard to loot. Although, if we loot it, we get three global resolve. I super want to do that. Super want to do that. Hmm. 40 meat there is kind of nice. We're all fired. New warehouse. Yes. Anything else we want here? Buying flour outright might be nice. <laughs> Buying food in general is not a bad idea, especially if I'm going to um, do the thing at the place, which I am going to do. Yeah, super worth it to loot this place. Three global resolve is insane. So let's just buy the required eggs from Sahilda here. Make our life nice and easy. Take 40. And then give me your flour too. Give you this, and some of this, and some of this. Seems good. Thank you. Beaver resolve, huh? This might be a decline for Tin Ember. I should have done that before trading, of course, but still. How's it going, C3? Please know we're playing on Prestige 2, but that's as part of the Queen's Hand mode, which is intended to be the hardest difficulty in Against the Storm. I'll take a Harpy Firekeeper for the moment. We also want to rebuild the granary. I can do that. Do you have bricks? No. Me neither, Sahilda. Me neither. Yeah, me neither. But then a single trade route all game kind of feels bad, but here we are. We should favor lizards, I guess. Might as well. At least we can earn something while this is being worked on. Yeah, it, it is actually kind of odd that the prestige level is not visible at any given moment. Very strange. seconds on that. We're going to have a huge boost in resolve once this finishes. Huge.
Let's get the woodcutters out here as well. Clear up this internal space. Yeah, there we go. Big, big boost, as you can see. Now the lizards are at 28, earning us 0.11 per minute just on their own. Good for them. Bakery, that's right. The bakery makes pottery, of course. Make a bake. Please and thank you. All right, more food. Food's happening all the time, everywhere, everywhere. Always more food. Not sure we want more people now. More people beyond a certain point just makes it more difficult to feed them all and keep them all happy. Not always desirable. Hmm. We could do luxury and treatment at the market. If we can find a way to make wine... Market would be a bit better. Um, treatment? Kind of difficult to come by. Faster global production is pretty good, though, at the bathhouse. Might be worth making just for that. That's probably worth doing. Grill seems kind of a waste with the butcher. Like a bathhouse. So you know what? I do want newcomers, actually. Please and thank you. Or lizards, since they're so happy. Please make pottery. Thanks. Just use the sea marrow, actually. Sounds good. Limit death is 30. Don't cutters camp just finished. We could move it, or we could do better things with these people. Sounds like what I want. All right, make pickled goods at the granary. You can use eggs and mushrooms for this. Although they won't have any to make for a bit. We can also make fabric. Limit that to 30 here. Two granary markers. Make a hearth. And some more houses. getting a little low. Hmm. Concerning. Let's make another herbalist camp. This won't last long, though, if I double herb camp it. Problem for future me. Should summon another trader soon. Okay, 
I see, but we pull, pulled food into the granary. That's why our food went down temporarily. Well, that just makes sense. Uh, we definitely need two bakers making pottery here. Don't be ridiculous. We're missing bricks. How am I getting bricks? I feel like I'm making bricks over here. Are we not? We are not. Definitely forgot to enable bricks. Definitely limit those to ten. Thank you. Good talk. And we can definitely put more people here. Keep doing stuff. To the wilderness with them, that's right. Haven't earned it. Okay, so I think food is actually under control for now, especially once these pickled goods get online properly. to be going into year six already. We're nowhere near winning, so we can expect this to be a at least seven-year game, probably more like eight, to get this bonus. Will that have been worth it? I don't know. Do not know. I do know that 40 meat is looking increasingly tempting. That's what I do know. Overall, seems like we have enough food to survive for a while, but how are we going to continue to get happy? Yeah, we knew it would be longer without orders. That was kind of a given. Oh, I see we got rot from the sky happening. We should definitely lose one woodcutter then. There are no orders because we're playing with the modifier Roaming Swarm. No messenger dares to cross the angry swarm that roams the forest. No orders will reach you. Traders arrive 50% slower. This came from an event. Decorations over here we did not. almost done. One of the hardest modifiers, says Heretic's Mind. I believe it. Yeah, it is it's definitely brutal. No orders and less traders is a mean combination. And if it weren't for Rebellious Spirit, I think we'd be completely screwed here. This has been tougher than I expected, for sure. Can take survivor bonding again? Okay. OP. So we're at plus two global resolve, 20% movement speed. Yosh with 26 months, happy new year. Definitely gonna be more against the storm. I'm really enjoying this game. Only one person actually lives here. Good talk, good talk. At seven? Oh, jeez. There we go. Okay, now it's at eight. You have too many, though. Eighteen. We should move some of these. Here we go. So that's another plus two to everybody. Well, trapper's camp ran out, but there's a little bit more for trapping. Oh, this one's already got a trapper working on it, though, so I'm just going to delete it. Uh, what else can we do for food? Not much. We need to cut into a new blade soon. I guess let's get into this one. Let's see what we 
fine there. About to get another blueprint. That ought to help. And once we can... Yeah, I think we're going to be in better shape momentarily. Damping mill. We can make flour. Wait. Hold on. Where these herbs came from, but I like it. Yes, that's good. Yeah, and a better pottery recipe too, right? Probably should have looked at the contents of the glade first, but whatevs. It's all fine. I don't think we care about the copper, but it could matter. How much copper ore do I have? A lot, actually. Yeah, that could matter. That could definitely matter. So beavers prefer this task. Do we have any beavers that are not already working at a task they like? Yes, we do. Please make pottery, limit 30. Please make flour, limit 50. Just use the grain, we have lots of grain. Don't worry about the copper bars yet. Uh, bakers, stop making pottery, start making the other stuff. Limit 50. You can make oil out of grain now. How much oil do we have? None. Turned it all into packs of trade goods. Is that a fool? Or something? I did what I did. Everyone allowed to eat everything. Nope, the beavers are banned from pickled goods. I guess they should be allowed to do that. They will be less pissed about that. Good call. Could stop growing vegetables. Well, that is an option. Certainly is an option. Hidden at Trader Cemetery. And a cool inscribed monolith. Can I delete that? Yeah, two planks, two fabric, two bricks. Cool. Lots of large stone nodes. 30 jerky. And if I want to report this, I'll need 30 amber and 15 pack of provisions. That is... Not gonna happen, is it? Well then, burn it down. Although not yet, because of storm things. Let's see, we have 13 minutes, so if I wait eight minutes... We'll have to time it carefully. Should be okay, though. I don't see any way to get the required money in time, unless we summon a trader right now, maybe. And even then, I wouldn't be able to get the pack of provisions down. Point is kind of important, though. Hmm. It's also, impatience is critically high at the moment. I'm not willing to do this. Okay, just be careful. That ran out. That's not good. I'll make the long trek over here, I guess. Fun. 
Uh, we have a stone cover camp, right? Oh, I deleted it like a fool. Please make it again. To make provisions out of herbs? I don't even understand where the herbs came from, to be honest. Were they mixed in with the mushrooms? We're gonna use the herbs for uh, biscuits anyway. Oh yeah, biscuits are coming online. Oh boy, oh boy, everybody's gonna be happy now. Good. You get insects from clay. No, you get roots. There is food there. Roots, which can be used for biscuits. Oh, the newcomers had herbs. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. That sounds right. Glad you're done. Also, apparently we have no clay. What the heck happened? What have I done? Oh, well, let's just get more. Easy peasy. Okay, we got another point of prep. Great timing. Teller can make wine at three stars. Don't have the ability to do that. Um, what we should do is make the... Ooh, maybe Tinkerer. Yeah, we can make tools. Two-star packet building materials is also an improvement, actually. Uh, let's see. Stamping mill can make copper bars, you said. Cool. Too. I need a blight post next storm. It's fine. Won't be a big deal. Looks like we are going to want more people, though. I'm cool with that. I think. I think I'm cool with that. They can't fail this. I'm gonna be careful. Apparently we have a herpy. Wow, I actually am about to cap out on the pack of trade goods. That's nuts. Cannot wait to see what the trader has. Probably going to immediately summon another trader too. Yeah, I should pre-man the Trader Cemetery. I think you're right. I don't know how much that helps, but it feels important. We'll still have to carry stuff over there. Good. Let's see. It's how much? 60 every 60 seconds. So we're actually fine for two full minutes. So we can start right now. Okay, let's start right now. Good. running out, though. Concerning. Food is definitely getting low. Although we have a lot, so I'm not that worried, actually. 
Especially since we're getting kind of food multiplication off the bakery and such. I almost think we need two bakeries, I'm going to be honest here. Sure looks like we do. So let's make another bakery. Get double baked. Why be half baked when you can be double baked? Oh, we definitely need more people. Bring them now. You guys. And we want three people on the bathhouse. Make that three lizards, I guess. Favorite race in this game? I want to say foxes is my favorite. With a lot of flexibility in what they can do for you. Hello! Guildhouse! The bonus will be added retroactively. Did you know I have 78 amber worth of stuff? I see you have tools. Tempting. Definitely going to take Guildhouse here. This will allow us to use traded goods to turn into Global Resolve, which is definitely a big deal. 96 worth of stuff that I can trade you. So yeah, give me 10 amber. And a bunch of tools. A bunch of tools. Wow, I can buy all of them. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, this will also speed up traders, right? It's the bonus. 50% quicker. So this will completely negate the penalty. And we'll have normal traders, basically. Plus three to pies is also definitely a little tempting. Although for the same price, I could buy 60 pies. So it would take a long time to just equal the same thing, right? Probably not worth it. Can definitely trade some parts as well. 42 pie, please. Thanks. So now it gives two global resolve currently. Ooh, grain bags. Probably not actually that good, given how late we are in here, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Two medium abandoned caches we can get. Double yields under biscuits missed. It's only for farmers, though. So double yield for farmers or way more than double yield with the, the grain thing. It's not maybe way more. Yeah. I don't see being that good. Poisonally. Let's see here. Yeah, we need more biscuits. I can tell you that already. I think actually the, the real answer was I should have refused. <laughs> Getting 10 amber. Oh well. It's fine. Totally fine. Um, we unfavor harpies. We can favor beavers. That We should do that. We're very close to getting everybody the right amount of global resolve. I think we have a bit of work to do, though. Second bakery is online. Please also just make biscuits and pie. I don't have much to make pie out of. We're out of eggs? Oh, shoot. Or biscuits. Well, never mind. A second bakery doesn't do me any good whatsoever, huh? Rud is the answer. Not good. Hmm. Very, very concerning. Please collect jerky? No, make the tools. 
get the tools. Hmm. Now I'm definitely worried. We're very close to dying here because of impatience. We're not getting that much per minute. Coats. Okay, coats helps. Coats helps a lot. We have lots of fabric. Yeah. Let's get some coats. So where is our cloth being made from? So we only make it... Uh, we have granary. That's right. We have granary. Granary makes it. Except, no, it freaking doesn't. What on earth happened here? Apparently, I have no fibrous materials at all. Ow. Well, that's bad. But at least I can turn all of the current stuff into goats. Control is is a good thing. I don't I don't press control much. I'm always pressing alt. <laughs> I'm an alt monkey. Amber is flowing. Oh, we should man the guild house, right? Yeah, there it is. Definitely need at least one person here. We might as well make it three. With the additional two global resolve, as you can see, that makes a big difference. We could favor one of the species. At the moment, actually, we don't want to. Currently, we're getting 0.84 per minute. That's pretty sweet. We still have a whole season this year. Good. All right. Food is doing well. Acres are out of stuff to bake. Uh, but we can get more roots, at least. As aforementioned. Oh, these are done. Okay. Deconstruct one of these. Make another one of these. One. Better than nothing, I guess, right? Oh, that's right. We turned all our plant fiber into oil. That actually makes sense, now that I think about it. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. And ten fabric at a time. Good for them. Delete all my fabric. Just do it. Good news is we bought ourselves uh, a couple of years, I think, worth of impatience gain here. Maybe going into year eight. I think we expected eight years, though. Question is, can we do it in eight, or is it going to be nine? Oh yeah, we want a blight post. That's true. Not actually at a hundred, but yeah, we do want a blight post. That'll take bricks. But oh, wait, I have no clay. Hmm. Wait a minute. Not a clay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We should probably deliver these. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, what did this take? No. Okay, but how long? 
Looks three bricks. Okay, get some help. Oh, there's plant fiber. Ah. Okay, and that'll get up in time. It it it's not that bad. Don't worry. It's all good. Uh, we should find our woodcutters and get into another glade, though, soonish here. Keep up the exploration. I can find them. Hello? There's one. Where's the other one? Here it is. Hello. Go over here. Okay. Seems a okay. You guys have nothing to do. That's good. Yo, let's assign some peeps here. Actually, one less guy at the lumber mill. Let's keep one less farmer on each of these for the moment. Need you all to not fail me. Here we go. It's the corruption level of the hearth. Apparently we already had some fuel. Yeah, we had 17 purging fire. I don't know how that happens. And they're faster. Good for them. Seems cool. We can't get to hostility five. Lots of pickled goods, though, at least. Okay, trader will arrive pretty quickly. That's good. of coats, lots of pickled goods, everything else is, uh, is what it is. Clay per minute or 10 amber. I'm going to take the amber here. As we're far enough into the game, I don't think per minute effects are going to be very good. Look at that happiness, though. That's a good sign. Definitely a good sign. Trader will be here in 47 seconds. We might call the next trader after that. We'll see. 32 pack of trade goods once again. Still dutifully making oil. Good for them. Lots of grain left. Lots of vegetables, too. Furnace. More food I can get. Two large mushroom nodes. That's good. And large flax... Uh, regular flax nodes. Excuse me. Okay. All of that's good. What's this? Gives insects per minute. 
or we can burn it down. Apparently we have 17 tools. Hey, you know what that means, actually. That's enough to do this. I have no people. I want the newcomers. Not really. Are you two even doing anything? Looks like you are. There's one granary worker. Okay. Definitely encouraging overall. Here is our trader, and we've got 70 amber. Could get smelter for better copper bar making. Probably just buy some fabric here. I have 10 ancient tablets. I don't know how that happened. I have no idea how that happened. Hello? We can buy more tools for more uh, caches. Do we have any more caches is my question. Um, they'll have an exclamation point on them. No. Hmm. Take all of this. I have 42 pipes? What? What? Have I been making these at the crude workstation? No. I've never had that many pipes. I'm just really baffled. Good talk. Yeah, so the per again, uh, just like with buying the, the plus pie here, we can buy the smelter to make more efficient copper bars to make more tools. Or we can just buy the tools with that money. Why would I bother? Buy the tools, save the money. We also don't have a use for the tools, so probably won't even do that. This also has better copper bars, vaguely. We also just buy the bars, right? But again, with no use for tools at the moment, I don't want to do any of that. Do you want to trade a bunch of stuff? Because we make money off that. I'll probably summon another trader up this guy leaves. Not enough to buy here that I'm happy with. Not enough, I say. Thanks, I guess. Are you sure we don't want more people? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. You're fired. Porridge. Nobody likes porridge. These are all kind of bad. Yeah. I could make pigment, maybe. And yeah, we can tame this with tools, but we can also do it with 30 pipes, <laughs> right? So, I should probably do that. Would mean not having as much happiness. Make education. Oh, we totally could. Oh my, hold on. Oh, I hadn't put that together. It's actually kind of a thing. And both harpies and beavers like education? Yeah, that would do it. Okay, so we want to... 
at all the pieces for that. Um, what may pigment? Pigment, pigment, pigment. Leather worker. Yes, that made pigment. We can do it out of coal as well. Let's all buy some. It's all of it. Thanks. And also buy the copper ore for the same reason. Did I actually get the Explorer's Lodge? I haven't made it yet. We unlocked it, but we haven't actually made it. It's only plus one at the moment. I'm just going to burn this down. that to make scrolls. Stop making package trade goods, thank you. Got enough of those. So we could buy mystery boxes full of surprises here. And buy the pigment directly, I'll take some of that. Give me some bricks. Coal, faster woodcutters. Let's buy this one as well. 30 more coal, lots of containers. Light fiber and vegetable production. We'll buy more reed for cloth or leather. Find both. Cool. I can do trade routes now, not that I plan on doing any. How much is the field house at now? Three, and I need to spend one and a half more to get another global resolve. That's what we check. That's why you check. Thank you. Okay, so now we have four global resolve. That's great. Make the Explorer's Lodge. Guess we're going to take more people now. Ten parts. How about here? Rebuild this. Want to do tinkerer things anymore? So, only the Beavers are happy. Keep them happy. Maybe we need more stuff. Can I make another hearth? No, I have no stuff. We could sell everything if we wanted to. Be another lots. Don't expect we're winning this year, are we? I don't think so. Go to year nine. That's fine. Well, yeah, I think we have to go to year nine. 
Seems quite likely. Seems quite likely. Might run out of food pretty quick, actually. Okay. Definitely spooky. It's only plus one currently. Still gathering stuff from here. Oh yeah, we have um, this stuff. This stuff. are being made. Let's get two people making scrolls here. So once the Explorer's Lodge is manned, we'll be able to... do education stuff. Which I think I'll do after the next storm. It is definitely plummeting. You don't even have pickled goods anymore. What happened here? Oh, I see. Well, that's my fault. Uh, we have too much pottery. Hold on. Stop making pottery. Never camped the stamping mill? Yes, I did. Well, good for them, I guess. Which we'll have to do. Wait, where's it all going, though? And the herbalist camp. Quickly. Uh oh. We have to. Oh shit. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, we're about to have a big problem. Everyone is going to die. Wait, we can we can sack to reduce hostility. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. We have lots of wood. It's only going to be 40 per minute. Okay, that'll, that'll work. That'll work. Spooky. And yes, we can get services from the Explorer's Lodge starting now. I'll solve my food problem for real. I think we're at plus four to vegetables production. Something like that. You two stop. Minus seven. Yeah, people will die randomly if we do not sacrifice wolves to deactivate that eerie song. To avoid grave consequences. Looks like we're going to finish, though. That's the good news. Bad news is it took nine years. Will that have been worth it? it remains to be seen. Remains to be seen.
go with a lizard heart keeper. I feel like the harpy is, is doing a lot of work, though. Rich again, somehow. Don't ask me how. Plus 10 for being educated is a very big bonus. I guess. Neither of those help. So both our educated species are very happy. We're now getting 0.69 resolve per minute. Nice. We're also gobbling up vegetables four at a time here, I believe. So we should be able to win reasonably fast from this position. At least one hopes. Uh, we might as well cut into some more glades. There will not be another storm. And if I can find caches, that would actually speed things up. So let's do that. Let's see, what do we not need anymore? Farmers. Fired. Yeah, we're going... Going pretty fast now. like a W to me, and I'm happy about that, even if it is a, a nine-year one. I was hoping for seven or eight, but nine we'll have to do. We get four reserve embarkation points. We get 40 insects on every settlement after this one, so it should be easier to do food again in the future. <laughs> Two trade contracts is kind of cool. Would you like stuff, sir? Thank you. And now, victory. It is GG. 